Hi, everybody. Welcome to Living Life. Today's date for the Bible study is December 29, and we're taking a look at King Josiah. And unfortunately, we're going to be studying the end of King Josiah's reign. Now, I just want to tell you a little bit about King Josiah in the introduction is that he was a really good king. He became king when he was eight years old and he was king for 31 years. And the Bible has a lot of good things to say about King Josiah. Uh, it says that he would not veer to the left or to the right. He was always on the right path. He was a righteous king, a good king. He was a godly man. And the challenge in today's um, journal is that we're going to be looking at how he needed God's wisdom and God's discernment in a unique situation that he confronted. So as we go through uh, the lesson today, uh, just let us be open to God's wisdom and God's discernment in our own life. So I do believe that there's a lot of good things to learn today. There's a lot of blessing here. There's a lot of wisdom here. So let's open up our hearts to receive and let's take a look at today's scripture. Second Chronicles chapter 35 verses 20 through 27. After all this, when Josiah had set the temple in order, Necho, king of Egypt, went up to fight at Carchemish on the Euphrates, and Josiah marched out to meet him in battle. But Necho sent messengers to him, saying, What quarrel is there, king of Judah, between you and me? It is not you I am attacking at this time, but the house with which I am at war. God has told me to hurry, so stop opposing God who is with me, or he will destroy you. Josiah, however, would not turn away from him, but disguised himself to engage him in battle. He would not listen to what Necho had said at God's command, but went to fight him on the plain of Megiddo. Archers shot King Josiah, and he told his officers, Take me away, I am badly wounded. So they took him out of his chariot, put him in his other chariot, and brought him to Jerusalem, where he died. He was buried in the tombs of his ancestors, and all Judah and Jerusalem mourned for him. Jeremiah composed laments for Josiah, and to this day all the male and female singers commemorate Josiah in the laments. These became a tradition in Israel and are written in the laments. The other events of Josiah's reign and his acts of devotion in accordance with what is written in the law of the Lord, all the events from beginning to end are written in the book of the kings of Israel and Judah. The important lesson that Josiah needed to learn from this story is actually an important lesson that we all need to learn. And one of the big themes that we discover in the Old Testament are themes of leadership. We look at Adam's leadership and Noah's leadership and Abraham's leadership and Joseph's leadership and David's leadership. I mean, the Old Testament really is all about leadership. So King Josiah was confronting a situation where he had to have wisdom in his leadership. And here's the lesson. Josiah needed to learn how to choose his battles wisely. And that's something that you and I need to learn and know and practice in our daily lives. We can't fight every battle. We have to be very wise and have God's discernment in which situations and what battles to confront and to engage in. Now, I know that there's a lot of people in our ministries, in our lives, there's a lot of situations that we want to confront, that we want to deal with, that we want to adjust, but we really can't confront all of them. We really can't adjust all of them. We need God's guidance. We need God's wisdom. So this is what happened in the story. Uh, there was a king of Egypt, uh, King Necho, and he came to war to fight at Carchemish on the Euphrates River. So he came to do battle with not Israel, not Judah, but another entity, another group. He had a war with another people group. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you know anything about Egyptian history, but Egypt, you know, the Egyptians are one of the greatest civilizations that ever existed on planet Earth. They built the pyramids, they have armies, they have chariots. It's a lot like when the United States went against, uh, you know, England. They were just a superpower. So the Egyptians were the superpower of their time. And uh, so they came to do battle against this 
nation. And what happened was that King jo Josiah took offense and he says, you know what? What are the Egyptians doing in my neck of the woods? I'm going to go down there and I'm going to do battle with those Egyptians. I'm going to go down there and I'm going to give them a piece of my mind. So when King jo Josiah came to do battle against them, uh, the Egyptian king says like, what are you doing here fighting with me? This is not your war. This is not your battle. You know, uh, God told me that I need to come here and take care of business. So what you're doing is not only being an obstacle to me, but you're being an obstacle to God. So jo Josiah lacked a little bit of wisdom. You know, he was being impulsive. Uh, maybe there was some pride there. And he so much was ready to fight and be in a battle that in the Bible story, it tells us that he actually disguised himself. He put on a costume, so he was fighting in somebody else's armor. It reminds us of the story when uh, uh, Saul uh, suggested to David to put on his armor to fight Goliath. And David said, no, I'm not going to fight in somebody else's armor. And that's exactly what Josiah did. He was fighting a battle that wasn't his battle, and he was fighting it in a costume. He was fighting it in somebody else's armor. So then what happened, unfortunately, to Josiah is that the Egyptian archers came out, and they launched uh, you know, thousands of arrows, and Josiah was struck. He was mortally wounded that his army had to come, put him in another chariot. They took him back to Jerusalem, and he died in Jerusalem. He lost his life. This was the end of his reign, 31 years. He started reigning when he was eight years old. And it seems that the mistake that he made is that he did not choose his battle wisely. He needed to stand down. He needed to let that one go. We can't fight every battle. We can't win every battle. Remember, the battle belongs to the Lord. So some people might say that in the end, Josiah wasn't totally faithful to God. He didn't listen to God. But just remember, God is always faithful to us. And Josiah was remembered as a great man. That was one mistake that he made at the end of his life. But his whole life was an amazing life. And when they brought him back to Jerusalem, the Bible story tells us that the people lamented. They remembered him. God was faithful to Josiah. He was buried with his ancestors. God was faithful to him. He did not see Jerusalem fall. So even though he made a mistake at the end and he died, uh, he is still venerated today as one of the greatest kings of Israel because he was a man of great devotion. He walked with God. He loved God. Under his reign, in fact, uh, one of the high priests discovered the book of the law that was hidden in the temple and he brought it to Josiah and it was Josiah in the 7th uh, century BC that made a decree we need to make copies of the law we need to bring in the law you know of Moses back to the people so he left a great legacy behind he left a great history he is a great role model for us but there is that moment of reflection, that, that moment where we need to, to see that at the end of his reign, he did make that one mistake that cost him his life. So I believe that this message is the and, and word is for some of you that are watching today, that we need to choose our battles wisely. So let's conclude. You know, as we get ready to pray, I just wanted to mention that we don't remember great men and women of God for the single mistakes that they made. And the Bible, quite frankly, is full of a lot of them. I think of St. Peter. I think of Moses. I think of King David. And today, you know, we've been talking about King Josiah, who made one mistake uh, at the end of his life. But we, we don't remember them for that one mistake. And, and, and we have to understand that we serve a God of grace. And when we do make mistakes, you know, we're under God's grace. And, and many times God, um, you know, uh, helps us out of these difficulties that we, we, we get into. So a, as we pray today, uh, just ask the Lord, what, what are the battles that he wants you to engage uh, with? I know there are situations that you need to deal with. 
I know there are people that you may need to confront in your ministry, in your family, where you work, in your community, but we need God's guidance and wisdom when we do take action and when we do confront people or situations. So let's pray. Heavenly Father God, just like King Solomon asked for wisdom and discernment to lead your great people, I pray right now for the moms and the dads and the ministers and the missionaries and the, and the lay people and just ordinary people, Lord God. We just pray for wisdom and discernment when to take action, when to speak, who to confront, and what situations to deal with. Help us, Lord God. Give us grace when we do make mistakes but you are loyal and faithful to us. So just watch over us and keep us, Lord, safe in your hands, we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This program is produced by the listeners of the audience. 